All right, uh, greetings, fellow great tens. Look, it's Mr. Tlajari here. And what we are looking at today is we are going to be learning or trying to prove or to understand the difference between mutually, uh, mutually, you know, inclusive, mutually inclusive, and also what right, uh, versus mutually exclusive, right? So now we are going to be understanding those, uh, you know, two basics uh fundamentals today now to begin uh now firstly let's try and understand what do we mean when we regard or when we talk about mutually inclusive so we are going to write it here look now from inclusive from inclusive you know uh you know the best way is i regard it as with intersection with intersection and how do we uh, determine it we determine it by finding the probability of a and b and which means we are saying the probability of a and b is not equal to, to zero right if it's not equal to zero which means it consists of a value every time when you are looking uh, for probability of a and b which is the intersection you'll always find the value and remember uh if i can just draw our cycles here every time we are saying now uh, if this is inclusive, it is always going to have this the part in between that is shaded. You see the shaded part and both of your circles within your Venn diagram are going to intersect, right? So, and we have a formula now for that. Uh, we are saying this is probability of A or B uh, is given by what? It is given by probability of A plus the probability of B. Now subtract what? Subtract the probability of what? Probability of A and what? A, A and B. Now listen. Now this, this is important. When you are told that this is mutually inclusive, you write this formula, you calculate everything. When you are not told, you can always write this formula again and now find out or look uh, for your probability of A and B. If you are getting a value and your value is not equal to zero, then you can conclude also that this is inclusive, right? So we are saying if you are proving, you calculate. So you, I'm saying now, if you are proving that this is mutually inclusive, you calculate for this. So this you calculate. You calculate, which means you write the same formula. Then you find out what is the probability of A and B. So this is when you what? When you prove. Now, if you are not proving, you just use the formula itself. You use the entire formula and then you can calculate either your A, your B or your A or B. Oh, okay, that's what you need to know. Now, let's come to now mutually inclusive, uh, exclusive, I mean. I think by now, exclusive, uh, you know, uh, in simple terms, uh, you know, I regard it as with no intersection, right? With no intersection, which means if we are saying with no intersection, which means your cycles that you are having, they are independent to each other, right or rather they are you know they are not having something that binds them together right so which means your probability of a and your b is not binded in between for exclusive events now which means if there is it is not binded in between which means you can see that already you are not going to have the probability of a and b so your probability of a and b is always equals to zero because you are not having that right? You are not having the side in between that is uh, inclusive, right? And now we are saying, therefore, the pro the formula for this one is going to be the probability of A or B is always going to be equal to what? The probability of A now, uh, probability of A plus your probability of B only because the probability of A and B you don't have. So this is the formula for exclusive. This is the formula for inclusive. Right now that we have understood the basic fundamentals, let's go and try to understand what does these questions require us to do. Now, in this one, uh, they are saying given that uh probability of a is zero comma five, probability of 
B is 0, 0,4, determine what is going to be a probability of A and B. If the two events are mutually exclusive, right? Look, you know, we, we just discussed now in terms of when they are mutually exclusive, which formula you use, it's this one, right? So which means you're going to come back here and say, look, now, if you are proving that these are mutually what? Uh, if you are required to calculate what is going to be a probability of A and B, if these two are mutually exclusive, actually, Actually, are you even going to be in a position to calculate that? Let's see. So uh, what is it that is going to be? If they are mutually exclusive, they are not going to have this intersection. So actually, uh, in this, you are going to say now the probability of what? The probability of A and B, right? Uh, they are going to what? It is going to be equals to zero. Because that's what they are looking for. The probability of that, it is going to be zero because you are not going to have the intersection. So which means in this, it is basically this one because it's where you are not having an intersection, right? Uh, this is going to be the one that uh, you are not having an intersection of. That is going to your probability of what? That is going to your probability of A or B. Does this make sense, right? And uh, now, so that is going to be now this event. Now let's also try and continue and see what the next question require us to do. Now in now this question 10, uh, now they say given that probability of A is 0, 0,4, right? And now uh, you are also given, or rather before we continue, in, in this case, we are given what? No, it's fine. Let's just continue. Our probability of A is 0, 0,4. Probability of B is 0, 0,3. Now, probability of A and B is 0, 0,1. Already, what can you identify about this? Look, you already having a value for probability of A and B, which means already from where I stand, I see an inclusive uh, event, right? Now, they say determine what is the probability of A or B. If the two events are inclusive, which look now they already have given you, right? They've already given you that these are inclusive. So you're going to just come in here and say, look, the probability of A or B, it is going to be close to the probability of A plus the probability of B, subtract the probability of what? Of A and B, right? That's the first thing that you're going to do. And then you come back. What is the probability of A now? The probability of A that you are given, look, it's 0, 0,4. Then the probability of B, it is 0, what? 0, 0,3. And the probability of A and that, this is going to be 0, what? 0, 0,1. So what is therefore going to be a probability of A or B? Look, uh, the 0, 0,4 plus this is going to be 7, subtract 1 is going to be 6. So this is going to be 0, 0,6, 0, 0,6. That is going to be your probability for this one. How to get? Then you have, you know, uh, you have successfully calculated what is going to be your probability of A or B, right? Hopefully this makes sense now. And let's try and make up some space for the last question. Now, in this one, they say given now that you have, uh, your probability of A, which is 0, 0,5, probability of B, which is 0, 0,3, probability of A or B, which is equals to 0, 0,6. They say determine the probability of A and B if the two events are what? Are inclusive. Look, this is important. They are telling you that this is inclusive. So which means you are going to have this probability of A and B now, right? So which means you're going to come back to your formula look and say, look, the probability of A or B is going to be close to the probability of what? Of A and plus the probability of what? Pro plus the probability of B subtract the probability of what? Of A and B, right? Then now let's see. So they want you to calculate what is going to be what the probability of A and B. Isn't it that that's what they want you to calculate? So you'll come here to the O and say, look for the O, I have the 0, 0,6. So this is going to be 0, 0,6 is equals to the probability of A, it's 0, 0,5. So it's going to be equal to 0, 0,5. And now plus what is going to be the B, it is 0, 0,3. Isn't it so? Subtract what? Subtract the probability of what now? Of A and B. That's all, right? Now let's let's see in terms of what else can we do. Then now we can wipe this because we already know our answer here. Look, the easier thing that you can do so that you don't even stress yourself, you can take this probability of A and B because it's negative and write it this side of the equation and take the 0, 0,6 and write it this side, which means it's going to be negative. So you're going to simply say probability of A and B. 
it's going to be what? Look, if you say 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3, this is going to be 0 0.8 subtract 0 0.6, which means now the probability of here is going to be 0 0.2. I mean, this is going to be 0 0.2. Let's fix that. This is going to be 0 0.2. So then you answer here, it's going to be 0 0.2, the probability of A and B. Then you are done. Right. So basically, these are some of the basic fundamentals when it comes to, you know, your uh, mutually inclusive and the mutually exclusive events. Right. Hopefully now this, you know, at least highlights some things uh, to you. Thank you very much.